We may be thousands of miles away from Germany, but our love of beer creates a special connection. As thousands flood the city of Utica for Oktoberfest, a local brewery is hosting its own celebration. Joining me now is the owner of Penn Brewing. We have Stefan Nitsch and the sales manager, Jesse Gray, here with us. Hello. So good to have you here. Thank, Thank you for having us. And so you guys have been doing Oktoberfest your own way for quite some time. Yeah. And years. so tell us what's been going on this year so far. Well, um, on Sunday we have family day. We're going to have horse drawn carriage rides. That's going to be really fun. Lots of food, fun, drink, beer. A lot of beer. Yes, lots, lots of beer. beer. Lots yes, of beer. Yes. So what did you bring with you today? What are we sampling? Um, so we brought a few samples today. Uh, we brought our uh, Pan Oktoberfest, which is our, you know, what we're celebrating this year right now. Um, it's about five and a half percent, 25 IBUs. It's gold and bronze in color. Um, it's toasty, slightly malty. Are you going to show me the proper pour of something like that? Yeah, you want to tilt it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, to get some foam on there. There you go. You can That's try that nice. out. Okay. That's that right there. Anybody else? Um, <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting some nods. It's toasty, <laughs> uh, slightly roasted, has some caramel char characteristics to it. Pairs very nicely with our pretzels and our rotisserie chicken that we have at Pembury for the weekend. Can I tell you, I was so thirsty. This is really hitting the good, I was just good. really parched. Perfect. So thank Perfect. you. No Let's problem. Let's the spot. Awesome. It's really good. Here. Okay, good. Um, all right. And so what else did you, did you bring here? You uh, we brought our, our, our Penn Pilsner, which okay. is our staple beer. Right. Um, it's the first beer they made back in 1986 when the brewery opened. Um, I'm just passing cups. Like so double fisting Oktoberfest and the lager, they're like cousins, basically. You know, they're going to look the same. Tastes very similar. Uh, just have a couple different characteristics to it. There's the Pilsner. Smells good too. And I, I love you guys are also doing some ciders. That's right, yeah. We and so. just launched our own cider with our friend Phil Laboon. Hello, Phil. Hey, Phil. Hi, Phil. <laughs> How you doing? Um, so tell me about the yeah, cider you so have here. We have three different kinds. Uh, okay. We have the regular apple, and with us today we have the apricot, also known as apricot. Apricot, apricot. We're not really it. sure. Yeah. I think it's just however you yeah. decide to say it. And then we have the pumpkin spice. Uh, that seems to be kind of everyone's favorite, but wow. I just filled up all the sample glasses with beer, so you're just gonna have to slug it out of the can. There you go. It smells Heather. like fall. Right? It smells so good. Fall okay. on the can. Oh, that is lovely. And it's cidery. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. Okay, I wanna try and this then one the too. apricot or apricot, however apricot, you pronounce apricot, it. Apricot, apricot, yeah. whatever you yeah, wanna say. Exactly. Can we talk about the, okay, the lagering caves from the 1800s, and, and there's actually something special that you did this year, right? Yeah, uh, we're actually um, uh, aging some of our beer in oak barrels. Fun. I'm calling it cave beer. Cave beer. Yeah. All right. Yeah. A little uh, throwback. Yeah. And is that available now? And here's here's a look. Is this inside? Yeah. That is the yeah. lagering cave. Yep. Yeah. That's what it used to look like. Wow. So you guys have transformed that space. Yeah. It's actually usable space now. Uh, it's part of our VIP packages. Uh, people can sit there and you know, have their own little experience in there. Private dinners. Like and this is outside of Oktoberfest. You can come in there mm -hmm. for private events yeah. anytime. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Um, can we also mention your socks? Seven. Yeah, sure. I, they're hiding back here. Scott, are we able to can we come <laughs> around? Because I feel like he he dressed for the occasion today, and then we didn't get to see the socks. So we just kind of have to show a little behind the scenes. Thank you for dressing so kind cool. Kind of behind on my calf raises, you know. Uh, but oh, sorry. Well, that's what this platform is for. You yeah. can just come back here and just oh, do a couple oh, okay, of them. Oh, yeah. Stretch them out. Get them in right there. That's good. What are you guys enjoying so much? This is your second weekend coming up this weekend. Is that right? Yes. Second weekend, yep. Okay. Outside. First weekend went great. Yeah. So you have the carriage rides. Family fun on Sunday, mm -hmm. right? Prizes for the kids. And uh, Friday and Saturday, that's just like the big hoot nanny. Yeah, 5 to 11.30. Yep. So that's funny. 21 and over, 5 to 11.30. This is your time to shine. Exactly. October Festival. Exactly. Thank you both for coming in. For and having cheers. Us. Prost. Yes. Is that what you say? Prost. Prost. There we go. Down, down the hatch. Mmm. Penn Brewing is hosting Oktoberfest celebrations Friday through Sunday. It's located on the north side. No advance tickets are required, but VIP packages are available. Children are allowed until after 8 p.m. That's when the grown-ups get to play. We'll be right back.